I am so excited. Last year, I had the remarkable good fortune of um, spending about an hour on Skype with best-selling author and speaker Simon Sinek. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I guess it's afternoon for you, isn't it? It is afternoon. Where are you? I'm in Alaska. So. Oh, it's uh, not near here. No, it's just a little ways away. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know who Simon Sinek is, um, Google him right now. He, uh, he is a, a best-selling author of, of the books Start With Why and Leaders Eat Last, and soon to be this new book, Together Is Better. I'm sure that this is going to blow up as well. Um, it's a little book of inspiration. It's this illustrated book with all these great ideas in it. So to totally excited about getting into this. But um, a friend of mine named John had turned me on to his one of his TED Talks. And immediately, I was um, I was loving what this guy was doing, and so it was such a treat to get to to spend an hour um, one on one with him. To get to spend an hour talking about leadership and public speaking was just such a treat for me. But the unexpected part is that was not even the best part. It was great, don't get me wrong. But the best part was that as a result of that connection, I got to meet somebody on his team named Stephen, and Stephen. Um, has turned into a friend of mine. Uh, he is a Blue Jays fan, so we spent much of last year. I'm a big Yankee nice. fan, which is probably sort of here. Not, yeah. um, Actually, not sort of here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys, what did you lose yesterday? Or I yeah, don't know if you we followed, did. But so we only did. eleven well, in we, a row. We played, we played the Mets. Yeah. We we lost in eleven innings. But oh, yeah. that's the worst. When he was in Anchorage, which is a, just a few hundred miles away from where I live. Um, he sent me a note and was like, hey, I'm going to be in Anchorage, we should connect. And uh, it was such a, a cool thing to get to go hang out with him for a day or so and walk around and talk baseball and leadership and all these kind of things and, and watch him um, give a talk. That was a, a real treat. And so before I talked to Simon, I would have said, well, talking to Simon Sinek is the very best thing that can come of this. But it turns out that that was something even better in there, and that was getting to, to make a new friend. So, Simon, thank you for writing great books and for sharing uh, remarkable ideas about what it means to lead. And thank you for spending an hour on Skype with me, and thanks for inadvertently connecting me with Steven. <laughs>